Okay, so not the best paint job, and obviously I've not done anything on the base, but I don't really want to do anything on the base. I need to clean it up because there's bits around the edges that just need need to go over again with black. I don't really want to do anything else with the base, so that's my more denying art as I've managed to do them. Um, a lot of messing about. I don't know if I can... Uh, hang on. So yeah, that's what I've managed to achieve, basically. Um, I don't think they look too bad for a first time painting in uh, like a decade and a half with uh, only one hand. That's been the hardest bit. Uh, the only thing I need to do is, you can see around there, there's a little bit of grey. I just sort of washed the boots in grey just to pick up some highlights. Um, so I need to repaint the bases black. And, you know, that's about it, really. Uh, I'm quite happy with them. I really am. It's been hard work. I didn't want to do any flashy things on them. Uh, lots of dry brushing and lots and lots of layers. As you can see, and there's, a little, there's a little bit of flash on the bottom of that last one that I missed. Uh, I'll do one by one. Okay, yeah, so this has been the product of several nights a very, very hard work. Bearing in mind I've only got one hand, so this is a nightmare. Uh, but, you know, I think I've, I've pulled it off mostly. I thought that was flash, it's not, it's the bottom of his uh, tunic. Obviously the real temptation here was because I picked my own colour scheme. A lot of the... Um, <clears throat> The fluff, especially in the codex, has them, basically they're in dress uniform. And my personal temptation was to do them up Zulu style. Um, but uh, I kind of had the feeling that it just, it wasn't right. Just doing Zulu, that's so obvious. It's much better to sort of come up with your own colour scheme. Is what I've tried to do here and I don't think they look too bad I mean yeah I could go around that sergeant and I could pick out all the um, the ropes but I've kind of done it so in the color scheme they're the same color which is what made sense to me at the time but I think they look pretty good I'll go over them again with the light off in a second. It's been a hell of a lot of work. Uh, and there they are, up against a black background, just so you can sort of see a bit more, as it were. I know it's not the most exciting colour palette in the world, but I quite like it. It's actually come out a lot better than I thought it would, considering. Lots of dry brushing, lots of thin layers. Uh, you can sort of see what I mean here. Yeah. Very muted colour tones. I tried to make them look tanned. I, I wanted to paint black skin. If someone could give me a, a, a tutorial on how to paint, paint black guys, that would be awesome. But yeah. Um, 
not the most exciting colour scheme in the world. I think it does the job. Is that a bit on this? No, it's not. No, it's the light. If I go on the right, I thought there was a bit on the uh, cab, but there's not. And uh, there they are again. And all I've done now is I've just now everything's dried, gone over the las guns and blades and stuff with a quick wash just to tidy everything up a little bit. And yet they are 100% done now. I'm not doing anything more to them because now is when you start messing about and you 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 add too much and you, you, you add too little. I think they look quite basic, yes. Very muted colour scheme. But I think it works for... Zimorgian Iron Guard. All I've done is you can see the last gun has got a bit more detail. Just went over with Nuln Oil and then dry brushed with um, uh, what's it called? Administratum Grey. And we'll turn the light off. And you can see what they look like without the light. Very swag, I think. Anyway, that's my Mordian Iron Guard, guys. Uh, let's just grab the sergeant and hold him up. Zoom out a bit. There we go. As you can sort of see. Boots were a bastard. Absolute bastard. But uh, yeah, it's a sergeant. Guy number one. I mean, I could play with these. Is that a. Oh no, it's just shading. Okay. I thought he's tuning it. I highlighted around the edges very slightly. So one bit looks like a blob, but it isn't. I could play with these. I wouldn't be ashamed. Um, yeah. Nice. Let's see where I had to go over the base. Dry brushing on the damn legs. So lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of very thin layers. But uh, I'm actually quite happy with them. Very muted colour scheme, I'll admit. Not exactly too technical, but if we'd gone technical, we probably wouldn't uh, have managed to pull it off as well as we have. So that's been scary actually, uh, quite scary for me anyway. So it's a big investment. And that's my first squad. Ten man guardsman squad. I, I could go over the colours I use. There's a lot of them. A lot of it you can't really tell I've done it. Like on the boots, that's got like three layers of very, very thin fortress grey on it. Just to pick out the detail. Uh, stuff like that. <coughs> Christ. Comments, criticisms. More than welcome. Just remember, I did this all one-handed. 
Oh, and if you're talking about some of the flash that you can see on these models, I am aware of it, and I can't get it off without breaking the model. And where's this guy? Yeah, that really is mismolded in there. That's the mismold guy, but I think he's come out quite well. Okay, if you bothered to watch, thanks for watching. Um, comment and criticism, very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, them's my guys. They are looking very nice. Thinking about it now, I may actually put a layer of art coat on the boots and the peaks of the caps to make them look extra shiny and buffed. Yeah, I'll do that another time.